Let's be positive. Let us be positive. Come on. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. Stop right no there. negativity. Let's be positive. LBP. Let's be positive. Matt Gunn joins us from the tropical paradise that is Twizel. And earlier on in the program, we were just playing some highlights of the last time you went to a two and a half day community board meeting, Matt. So what happened today? It was only an hour and 20 minutes today, Martin. I don't know what happened, but there was, um, I was shortchanged, I feel. <laughs> I've walked out with some positivity, but there was a little story that happened that had the mayor leaving the meeting and making a phone call to the IT department. Have you got a quick second? Yes. I'll give you the story Go anyway. On. This is a scoop, ladies and gentlemen. This is a scoop. Tourism. It's a scoop, all right. Three years ago, prior to COVID, in a tourist town like Twizel, 500,000 people a year coming here, they shut down the tourist information centre to put in an interactive kiosk where you could go up and touch the screen and it would tell you all the beautiful things to go and do and help you book in uh, different events and find a hotel and all that kind of wonderful stuff. It hasn't worked (laughs) until this week. What? They got it going this week. (laughs) So hang on a second. When you say, just stop there for a second. So when you say it hasn't worked, I thought just maybe not many people had used it because no tourists came through. You're saying it hasn't actually worked and the whole time. I started calling it the Twizel Monolith <laughs> because it's a big black box in the middle of the market square, which does nothing. It's been a black screen for the last two years because it took one year for it to get here and then be installed. So anyway, last week they, they apparently had it running and I went to look at it and it didn't work. And then after my meeting this morning... After my editorial meeting this morning at the Twizel Update, I thought I'll go and check the monolith one more time because I understand it's working. So when I get over there, instead of tourist information, I'm not joking, it's got a link to the PC's home screen that controls it. It's got TeamViewer on there. It's got a couple of other software programs. It's got the internet, but it's got no tourist information. It's a direct link to a computer in the council okay, look, chamber. Okay, I've got a better idea. Okay, can we can we put this back on the to-do list? <laughs> it's still on the to-do list. It's still on the to-do list. So, they start talking about it. Is it working? No, I say, well, I was there this morning and it's got a home screen up. You can't, you can't use it at all. In fact, I was able to touch a couple of the icons and drop them in the recycle bin at the top. <laughs> what I didn't do was get rid of the internet. Apparently, a couple of young boys oh, were able to get onto the don't, internet. Don't. And as one of the councillors said, Martin, as one of the councillors, a female councillor said... Don't say it, please. They were looking at things <laughs> they shouldn't be looking at. <laughs> In the marketplace, they're in, they've, not, they've jumped on the internet, these kids, and while she didn't say what it was, oh. all I could think of is when we were kids, if you were looking at something you shouldn't be looking at and you heard that from your mum, yep. she'd found your Playboy or your Penthouse <laughs> magazine or whatever else. So at this that point, tourism. the man this jumps is... up, he runs out, jumps on his cell phone, calls the IT department yes. to work out what the hell's going on. They've pulled the plug after three years no. and less than a week of it not working or apparently working, they've had to pull the plug until they can work out what it is. Oh, look, so, I suggest that they yeah. get an IT expert because there's touch screens all over the world. There is, and but most anyway, of them work. Yeah, yeah. And my, I've never gone to one that allowed me to bring up pornography. Bands, Mark, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's back on so the to-do list. That was community board meeting <laughs> today. I said... Look, you should be embarrassed. You know, it, it's not good enough. No. And the mayor agreed with me. So I haven't been banned. I'm allowed back to the next one in four weeks, and I just can't wait for the next little piece of information. All right, let's be positive about the league situation. Um, where Your doggies were absolutely cornholed, and then the Warriors were as well. But according to Planet Cameron, and now Dallin Watani Zelezniak's actually a paid-up member of Planet Cameron as well. Things are on the improve, signs of improvement. Mount Smart performances show what we're capable of, Matt. Well, 
I suppose the beauty of that, Martin, is before we move on to the Warriors, is that we lost less badly than you on the weekend. Thank you. If you know what I'm saying. Thank you. We scored more points, 50% more points than you. Yes. And we didn't have as many scored against us. Yeah, there's progress, right, mate. There's something, there's something we're celebrating, mate. Look, yes, we're celebrating, mate. You know, yeah. I hope, I hope you sent the Bulldogs result from this weekend to Cameron George just to remind him who the Warriors actually beat a week ago. Because we are hopeless and we are descending back to where we started the season. The beauty is, is the Tigers are there to remind yeah. everyone that actually we're not getting the Hey, hang on a second. Back they off, pal. Back, back. Let's be positive about it. We beat both the Tigers and the Doggies, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Okay. I know. Two teams have had 70 points put on them this year. The Warriors were one of them. Look, it's all up from here, Martin. The yes. reason being is the season's nearly over and we get to go away and look at the form guy and dream about how good the Warriors and the Dogs are going to be next year. While all the other teams play in the finals, we can dream yeah. and we can right, listen yeah. That's right. and we can reminisce about Cameron's speeches this there year about how next year next is year. the and year. The, the, the the, year. The, I think we have to establish that, that next year it is our year, okay? And I think we've got to actually be positive about the other thing, mate, just before we go, when Stacey, you know, and, and I'll play you just a little bit of him because, I mean, he's had some pretty depressing press conferences since he's been coached, but the Cowboys one was the best. Yeah, it was tough, you know. It was, you know, some of the situations what we were two weeks ago. So when Watani Zelezniak says that, oh, when we get back home, it's all going to be okay, when Stacey said eight or nine of them didn't turn up, when, you, when you've got Stacey Jones in your dressing room, mate, as a Warriors player, and you decide you can't be stuffed playing for him, well, who are you going to play for? Who? One of the greats, Martin. Not only a Warriors player, one of the great Kiwis. And not only that, a great bloke. And yet they can show up, put on those performances, and then just talk about it like it never happened. Like it never happened, mate. That, 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 that breath Stacey took... We, we all know what that meant. That meant he had a lot of other things to say. Mm -hmm. Things like, none of these guys want to play. Yeah. Why are we paying these blokes? Yeah. Can we look at who stays next year? Do any of them even want to stay? And what does it actually mean to them? So many weeks away, living in Australia, can't wait to get home. That doesn't mean you only have to play at home. It means you've got to play everywhere. It means you've got to care. And after all those weeks away, the fans have flocked back, and yet they still get that. And they get to hear Stacey Jones, a club legend. I, I, I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. But, <coughs> I mean, it breaks your heart wouldn't to you be, see the But, Matt, guy. wouldn't you be, Matt, going out of twice? Or, you know, let's be positive, out of twice. Wouldn't you be absolutely ashamed as a player sitting in that dressing room with him in there, when he says eight or nine players didn't want to play for the jersey, I mean, that's as weak as... There is nothing more pussy than that in a rugby league side than hearing that, right? So uh, this, is what I don't, this is what I just don't get with these guys. But you're exactly right. It's kind of like they blink and it's gone. Oh, they got a goldfish. Man. Oh, we didn't play last night, did we? Oh, we didn't actually next. play at all. Next. Next, we're going to the next. Next. Wallaroos, next. mate. The well, Wallaroos. Can I... We'll move this, to... This is one of the other issues, though, with, with what Cameron George says, Martin, is that we're getting better and we're looking forward to next yeah, year. Yeah. In a way... Oh, he's allowing it. In a it. way... He's, he's endorsing He's encouraging it. Absolutely. What he's saying is... We, it doesn't we, matter. We, we're happy with it's you it. guys. And yeah. they think, well, the CEO thinks we're going all right. Yeah. How many jerseys does the CEO buy? How many pies and tickets does the CEO pay for? Zero, Martin. Zero. All right, well, I, I, I'm embarrassed for all of them. It would have got better on Saturday night when you were Wallaroos. Uh, Wayne Smith, the coach, said no, that the Black, Ferns, the Black Ferns should have put a hundy on, he said. The Black Ferns should have raised the bat to the crowd with their first ever test century, mate, and he was right. Your team is awful. Terrible. A Wallaroo is a kangaroo ripoff. It's a small... Mid-sized. It's not a cross between a wallaby and a kangaroo. It's its own insipid little animal, and the performance. It said everything about that. I don't want to talk about that women's rugby game because, quite frankly, I just don't care. I don't like Wallaroos. I think it's a dumb name for a for a team anyway. 
So let's just move on. Let's move on, then. On and look, I hate to say it, mate, but we'll finish on this. I know that they've been wearing the weather in, in Nelson. Here in Auckland, there's eight days left of autumn. We're into spring. It's 20 degrees out here. We had our two heaters delivered here today, just on the hottest day of the year, mate, where we're both in T-shirts and shorts. So just a weather update from you for the weekend, because the seasons are changing. You can tell. Well, actually, I'm going to be honest with you, Martin. It's warming up. It is warming oh, up. Let's be positive. Um, we got to a top of 12 today. Brilliant. A beautiful top of 12. 12 degrees. You get that? Mm. Your overnight low is our high. But I'm looking at blue sky over the snow-capped mountains. Oh, that's lovely. As the sun descends, yeah. it is absolutely gorgeous. And what I can't see... It's Auckland Central, Martin. Okay. Auckland Central. Right. Not even on my okay. radar. Well, I tell you what, that encourages people like me to come down and hit your tourism site and start watching some porn. That's what encouraged me to do, Matt. I'm going to come down there and I'm going to go, Why not? where can I go for the weekend? Uh, yeah, in Twizer. That's Straight great, to the mate. marketplace, Martin. <laughs> Straight to the marketplace. That's where you go. That's where you go. Mad gun being positive out of Twizel, ladies and gentlemen, every Monday, 5.34.